going on guys welcome back to the trench grenade channel the channel where today we're going to talk about my thoughts on a serious rifle both for training and for duty use as many of you guys know <clears throat> spoiler alert my palmetto state armory m16a2 has been having some issues minor issues but issues nonetheless and i'm going to give you some thoughts and opinions on a serious duty rifle uh, before i get any farther guys the whole build <clears throat> for this PSA M16A2 and yes it's an M16A2 because the lower is stamped M16A2 from Harrington and Richardson right so yes it is an M16A2 <clears throat> I'm going to replace the bolt carrier group on this thing and I think I'm gonna run it until it dies I just want to know do you guys want to see this suppressed or unsuppressed and are you interested in seeing how long this Palmetto State Armory H&R M16A2 will last. Post down below if you'd be interested in seeing this. Uh, this thing ran until it actually uh, fully dies or if you just don't care and you wanna see uh, more tactics and better rifles and post that too. <clears throat> Guys, if you wanna support the channel, consider checking out Mystery Ranch. Mystery Ranch, they give us a good uh, a link down below and they make good bags. I don't have anything here to show you, but I own two of their bags. I love them both. So if you want to support the channel, use the link below for Mystery Ranch. Consider becoming a member of the Patreon. It's five dollars a month. It gets you access to our Discord server where you can find buddies to train with, game with, stay up late and talk about why White Monster is the best monster flavor. Okay. <clears throat> my advice on a serious rifle now this is just going to be my experiences and my opinion right but my two uh which one do you guys want to see first the long boy my two and yes some of these guns are kind of stripped <clears throat> stripped down from uh slings and optics and all the stuff even though this one uh, has an acog but i have a lot of projects going on right now so some things are not going to be set up fully uh for whatever reason right <clears throat> so uh, my advice for a fighting rifle, I recommend Daniel Defense, right? I like Daniel Defense. Now, they don't know who I am. They have, uh, they, I, I am not sponsored by them. I, they have no idea. My channel is not uh, big enough for them to know or care about a small YouTube channel like mine. Uh, but I recommend Daniel Defense. And I like two of their rifles that I've used uh, extensively, right? This thing I've owned for a long time. This is a V7. Um, it, it has been awesome. You guys have seen it a ton on the channel and it's super lightweight. It's a 16 inch barrel. And the only thing I've really replaced on this is the buttstock. And really that's it, right? <clears throat> Just the buttstock. So, uh, so yeah, why do I recommend Daniel defense? Well, uh, their barrels are freaking legit. The guns are reliable. They eat steel case. They're a little bit over gassed, uh, compared to some of the competition, but that's so you can run. Uh, you know, steel case ammo, duty ammo, everything will run through a uh, Daniel Defense, and that's why I recommend Daniel Defense, right? They are just, um, they are my go to when it comes to a serious rifle, okay? So there's the V7. <clears throat> Let's talk about uh, what most of you guys are probably going to be interested in, and that is Mark 18. So, some things to be, uh, to be careful of if you decide to get a Mark 18. The, the extractor will die sooner and the barrels will burn out sooner. However, comma, I have had zero issues with anything on this gun as of yet. Now, I do have two replacement uh, bolt carrier groups because I'm waiting for this bolt to die, right? I'm waiting for this bolt to die because the, um, the way it works is they are a little bit over gas just based on that 10.3 inch barrel and the gas system that is in this, that is in this gun, right? But when it comes to a serious expectation of a fighting rifle, um, I, I trust in Daniel Defense, right? That's, that's what I recommend. And that's, you know, that's what I would recommend to you guys as of right now, if you were, if you were to ask me, Trench, I, I need to buy a gun. What, you know, what should I get? I recommend Daniel Defense, okay? Um, that's just you know, my two cents. Take it, leave it, do whatever you're gonna do with it. Um, but I, I can only tell you my experiences. And my experiences are, uh, these guns are insanely reliable. Like, I I don't know how many malfunctions. It, it's very very few. Like less than five, ever. 
with both guns. And I fired, you know, thousands and thousands of rounds through both of these guns and had almost no issues to note, like ever. I think I had a charging handle uh, that was unlocking on its own. I hit up Daniel Defense, they sent me a new one. Like, I think that's the only issue I've ever had. And as you guys know, I use my stuff very heavily, right? Um, so, <clears throat> to, I say all that to say this. If you're in the market for a serious gun, then buy a serious gun. Doesn't have to be Daniel Defense, but buy something that merits uh, whatever your life is worth, right? Um, for me, Daniel Defense. That's what my life is worth. I'm gonna buy. Uh, I'm gonna buy quality because that you know I know the guns will 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 run and run. They are durable. They're accurate, and you know they're reliable. And that's what that's what I think a uh, a good rifle should be, right? I don't think you should compromise on your go to war gun. If you're struggling for money, I think you should save save a little bit of money and get and buy once, cry once, and get something good that that's good quality, right? That is that's my advice. Some of you guys uh, are, are going to take the advice. Some of you're not. That's that's okay. That's just uh, that's what you guys are going to do, and that's okay. But yeah, Daniel Defense is my is my option or my recommendation. If you were to ask me uh, what rifle to get, I would say Daniel Defense. Okay, but yeah. Post down below what you what your guys' choice are, and let me know, should I waste the ammo on this thing? I'm going to put a replacement bolt carrier group in, um, and I'm going to, you know, I want to know, should I should I waste the ammo? Should I suppress it or unsuppress it? Uh, you know, which one would you guys rather see? And should I burn this thing down and see how long it lasts, or should I just use that ammo on uh, a better gun, right? <clears throat> anyway. Let me know your guys' thoughts down below. Let me know what you want to see next as far as rifle build stuff because I know there's a lot of questions. Um, and I know there's a lot of people defending uh, companies like Palmetto State Armory and, and, and uh, Arrow Precision. Well, what I would tell you guys is those are budget options for a reason. If your life is worth a budget, you know, a very small budget at that, then yeah, choose, choose those options. I'm not telling you not to. But I'm just telling you what my life is worth, and my life is worth Daniel Defense. All right, guys. Have a good night, and until next time, it's going to be Trench Grenade, your average 